what is good guys this is Azazel the demonic and to die we're doing the event that's on and we're only just about doing the event because there's only two hours and 18 minutes left of it uh, my apologies for um, leaving it so late um, but the last four five days I've had unbelievable anyway um, this is what is up for grabs is Joton but it's also a double boss event so uh use we have also got krampus up for grabs um kind of good for me because i've already got krampus so i can pretty much just concentrate on uh, jaton <coughs> oh excuse moi um yeah um i know there's a lot of people who are very very disappointed with gear because um krampus has been put into the mix and do you know what i have to agree um as much as it's cool for me because i can just concentrate on getting jaton um you know events were about getting new cards do you know what i mean they were about getting new cards and yeah yeah you know jaton is pretty much a hard card to get but we've already had krampus we've already had krampus as an event i they are just taking a piss uh, they are just taking a piss they are taking the piss a little bit but hey ho what can you do about it but you know be it on their heads because i oh no we don't want him um because you know they really are losing players they really are losing players over just you know just giving us just real bog standard things i mean you know even when it came to the event that was on i mean you know back in the day I would get so excited when an event was on. Do you know what I mean? I would set alarms at the times that events usually started. Do you know what I mean? Like 12, 7, 8, 9 o'clock sometimes. Do you know what I mean? I would set alarms and like if an event was on, it was like, yeah. If it wasn't, it was dead disappointed. Now, I'm just, you know, as much as I, you know, I'm really trying and I love the game. You know what I mean? It's just like, mm, yeah, okay, the event's on. Mm. You know what I mean? It's sad, but anyway. Anyway, these are one of the cards that's dropping. Kofu, mummy dude. Uh, the other cards that are dropping are Totom Guard and Scarecrow. Uh, I've got 70 bonus, uh, I don't know what they are, sheath, sheath things, sheath branches, or whatever, whatever the hell they are. Uh, that is for a T4 Golden Uther uh t4 uh balan lesterbarge uh t2 gula gen and t2 something else i can't remember what the other one was oh it might come back to me anyway <coughs> um now i have got five jotons um to be honest um i don't think i'm gonna eight card him i don't think i'm gonna be able to um but i'll be happy if i get to six card him at least um and to be honest if i think if i only stick out five i probably might just four card him and keep one spare for tournament of valor or um yeah for the tournament of valor if it's if it's still going, I don't know, because the Trinity Arena's taken over. I don't know. But anyway, let's do a couple of uh, a couple of battles. Hopefully, we can get a drop while we're live. It'd be pretty cool. Um, but we'll soon see. I mean, I'm, I think I am overdue getting a live drop, actually. So let me know how you're getting on in the event uh, <laughs> with two hours to go. Um, and obviously after this video, uh, I mean, as you can see, I'm 18th and I, I pretty much lost an entire day. I might as well explain why I've been so busy. Um, basically on the 18th of this month, I'm going to be flying off to Greece. Yeah, baby. Uh, going to Athens uh, to see some the family-in-law and then going to uh no Saint-Tropez Santorini Saint-Tropez what am I talking about I'm going to Santorini afterwards for a wedding um 
So I'm really hoping there's not because we're going for 10 days. So I'm really hoping between the 18th and the 28th there isn't an event. <laughs> I, although I say that actually, I can get Wi-Fi at the in-laws. So um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But this is my first proper abroad holiday in about four years. So I'm sure as shit going to be enjoying it and getting tantastic. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, but obviously after this video, I'll uh, I'll do the uh, event rewards. Uh, oh, that's what I was getting on to. Why I've been so bloody busy? Um, it's basically uh, I had to go to Liverpool to uh, get my passport, um, like an emergency passport. There and then, I had to like wait around in Liverpool for like I think it was like six or seven hours. Um, it was crazy, but. <coughs> So I pretty much lost an entire day because I didn't take my phone with me. Um, I've got two phones, but I didn't take this one with me. Um, so yeah, I pretty much lost out on an entire day. Um, so yeah, it's just the last four days have just been hectic. I've just been here, there, and everywhere. Like this is what you got to do when you got four children. You know what I mean? It's a hectic, hectic schedule, twenty-four hours a day. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, the event, the event reward video, I'll follow this video. It probably won't be today. Uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow, just so there's a bit of space in between uh, videos and whatnot. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we get something good out of that. But I'm pretty much from. I think I'm probably only going to be getting about nine chests. I reckon, um, but obviously I'll be uh, T4 in Jotun, but however many cards will just depend on how nicely this plays, but we'll wait and see. Well, we'll do, uh, we'll do two more and then we'll leave it at that. Come on. You big giant icy freak. Come on. No. Actually, we'll do, we'll do three more, three times a charm. Obviously, unless we get it on the second. Well, we'll soon find out. <sighs> Come on. I've had quite a fair few battles as well. Um, because obviously my ranking's not that high. Um, because I've been hammering the hell out trying to get Jotun, but... His uh, his drop rate for me is uh, definitely not the best, um, but it'll be interesting to see. Um, I want to see his combo with uh, uh, Balorta Smiter because uh, that's an increase of health, and I'm sure he increase. Uh, sorry, increase attack, and he, I'm sure he does another increase attack with another card. Or it might be Ball of the Smiter that does that. You could do a, a multi-combine. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'll um, I'll be doing all that in in the next video. Oh come on, come on! Oh, also on some other news as well. Um, I believe on uh, I heard on Good Authority. Uh, that gear have approached us players and asked us to reinvent the combos and the uh, skills of all the cards. Yeah. So, I... Uh, that was a few days ago now, though, and apparently we were only given 24 hours... Um, which I thought was a bit bloody cheeky. <laughs> We're practically doing their job, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's kind of all well and good, them sort of passing 
that torch to us saying well what do you want and it's like well we just want a game that's you know we they need they, without a shadow of a doubt they need to put something new into this game something brand new you know forget about the arenas arenas are just so friggin boring now you know what i mean like i mean i suppose i suppose if you're a newbie you know what i mean then the arenas you know could still be interesting you know what I mean? I mean, the arena would have to be something extra specially amazing for me to do it, like a guaranteed seven-star card or something like that. But to me, arenas are just boring as hell now. Um, they need to... I. This is just my personal opinion, and I know some people probably like think, nah. But I personally would love to see just like a little... Some sort of like little RPG or... MMO, MMORG, or whatever the hell it's called, you know, where you can actually take, I don't know, like, say, for example, like Van Braille or something, or you could take the, the uh, Emerald Dragon or Sapphire Dragon or whatever, whatever the hell it is, and you could actually go on a physical wandering quest. Do you know what I mean? You've got, like, your little figure, like, they might step out of the actual card and go wandering on an adventure to go and do some stuff or whatever. That would be friggin' awesome. I think something something along the lines of that would inject new life into this game. Now, where the hell... Where the hell is he? Come on. Um, <laughs> you know, just something completely new. Something that is going to pull players' interests back into this game because... You know, like I said before, even now it's like, you know, I lived for events when it, you know, came to this game. But now it's just like, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. You know, I really just hope this isn't sort of like a cloak and dagger thing for them trying to wind the game down and hopefully everybody loses interest and they can get rid of it you know i really hope they keep up with this and the, you know because the thing is there's a lot of you know trading card game you know platform games that are coming out now you know the there's new ones coming out that are getting more and more interesting and stuff like that i, I personally don't think they're on the level of hoc yet but they're going to get there. There will be one game that's eventually going to come out and it's going to blow this out of the water. And if gear aren't careful, everybody is just going to switch. You know what I mean? Everybody is just going to, you know, abandon ship. And it'll be sad. It would be, you know, it'll be really sad the day this game goes. But anyway, let's try and not be depressive. Anyway, there we go, guys. Well, not the best video, but... Nevertheless, hopefully we'll get a better uh, results when it comes to the uh, rewards. So, as always, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. God bless your faces. Uh, peace out.